Yeah, yeah man. Thank you so much, Thank Kat. You. Now, you know, this morning, I want to reflect on the words of Tata Madiba, who said, to deny people of their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. But sure. the truth of the matter is that the human right to just have a meal in your belly is something that many kids go without on a daily basis. That's right. And that's where the Meals for Mandela campaign is all about. We've put a call to action out to you, and you definitely showed up to honor Madiba's legacy of servitude and ending extreme child hunger. And Graham was there to capture all of the action at Table Bay Mall. With a meal count of 50,000 going into the second hashtag Meals for Mandela campaign activation at Table Bay Mall, school learners and teachers came together with enthusiasm to pack another 25,000 meals for hungry children and NPOs such as Little Lamb. It was so nice just to have our team together, there was such a vibe, it was awesome, I actually felt excited and inspired to actually just get out there and get these meal packs to the hungry children. Obviously for you today a great experience, but this is kind of an everyday gig for you. Little Lambs does some amazing work in a number of communities within the Cape. What is the function that you perform in these communities that you've invested in? We have quite a few projects under our umbrella, but the one specifically with children is early childhood development. And we find the difference from a child that is fed in the morning, it is unbelievable. And it just, it's just amazing to see how much they grow with having those continuous meals every day. I suppose I have a, a great fear that once the Mandela centenary fever has subsided, we'll go back to just a, the one day a year of Mandela Day. But we have an opportunity, every single one of us, to be inspired to live in the service of others, to honor Madiba's legacy. What was your motivation for doing this to the degree that you do every day? My logo is if we all give a little bit, it becomes a lot. So even one box of porridge or one packet of food, if 10 people do it or 20 people do it, it gives a lot. And I just personally couldn't do a normal job. It is part of me and it's, it's what I am. My school's name is Globergen High School. We're about two minutes away from here. I decided that the Inked Act Club, which is a club that I'm the president of, would come down here and do our last project for the year, just to have a fair one and say goodbye to each other and have a bit of fun afterwards. But we, we love helping people, so we decided this would be the perfect opportunity to end off our year on a good note. Rachel, you're representing your school here. You guys have gone through two meal packing sessions. Were you forced to come here? Why, why did you want to come through today? And why have you guys embraced it in this way? Uh, we came as part of the Interact group and we all volunteered and I believe we see many people on the streets who are hungry and we all want to help everyone. How demanding has this been being a part of production? Like, you guys have been motoring the whole day. Uh, it's actually been really cool and I was first packing the soup and now I'm weighing everything and it's been a really fun experience. She's officially a weigher. Okay, you are a weigher from now on, Rachel. We love you. Thank you so much, man. Your school has been awesome. Get back to work. Go, 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 go. A headmistress coming down to work with the students to do something special like this. What was the motivation? Why are you here? Did we pull you into this? No, we did not. The motto of San Suu is to be of service. And this is just what we want our girls to be doing, to be of service. So I thought, let's come down today, see what it's about, because I believe next week we're going to be involved in Maynard Mall. With the second Meals for Mandela meal pack a success, we look to Maynard Mall to pack another 24,000 meals and wrap up the final 1,000 meals live on the 16th of November.